Alright guys, what's up? This is a type of video I've not done in a while. It is indeed a reaction, and yes, I'm going to have a look at some other Planet of Zombies videos I've done in the past. I've already done two before, in this kind of like... Pentalogy, that's it. So I've kind of like a Pentalogy of the Planet of Zombies videos. I did like five in the space of about a year and a half, then I didn't do any for a while until I returned my Heart of Zombies ones, which I'm pretty sure is still my most viewed video. So we're going to have a look at some others during this so-called Pentalogy. So first up, we've got Worst Plant Foods and Plant vs Zombies 2. I'm pretty sure I did my best one first, but we're going to say that until the next one. And, you know, I don't have to do the actual order. So let's go. In your head, zombie, zombie, oh, I had to make the joke at some point, come on. It, negative list can get me high amounts of views, as proven with Worst Plants in PVZ2. Wow, I only had 164 subs then. That kind of shows how far I've come. I wonder how many subs I actually getting from this video. Probably not that many. To get loads of dislikage, as filming with the aforementioned video. Dislikage. Some plants have great plant foods. Not to mention being loads of so much difficulty makes you and I want to break our phone over our head. Plant poison, I should call them. Oh yeah, this is the one guy for that video, wasn't it? Yeah, I think if this could have actually been pretty funny, if two things. One, the sound effect wasn't so loud, and two, if this thing didn't glitch all the time. I'm pretty sure it played fine there, but I think some other times it comes up through the video, it like just gets stuck all over the place. Hi, I'm Ace James Mavic Kate, and these are the <laughs> You can tell what time period this video is from, given I'm holding an Oli Mer CD in this picture. I feel like a lot of viewers probably don't even know who that is. Yeah, you don't bother. First plant food effects and plant versus zombies. <laughs> okay, that, that takes things even worse. That's literally the most Windows Movie Maker transition I've ever seen. And it can barely read the text as well. Why did I choose this? Number 10 is the lava guava, where the plant jumps in the air and emits lava across all the tiles in front of it. Sounds good, doesn't it? Well, what's wrong with it? The fact that you can't immediately use it to damage zombies around it. Yeah, with the lava guava, I feel like the plant food is actually worse than the plant it. itself, yeah. so yeah. Fact, I think I was strong to think of one spot on this list, so I just stuck him on. So I'll give this one a miss. Nine. Boy, this sounds a bit bee. unnecessary. Basically, a piece of plant food just had it chills all the zombies in the lane. So it's better then, isn't it? Well, what if I said. <laughs> That's another thing that happened in my video during this time. I think, especially during the summer holidays, my computer overheats a lot. You could hear it in the background a bit. You could hear it just then, but then it cut off. But I mean, you probably can't hear it unless you're listening with earphones, so yeah. Fires way less peas than the peas you just. Apparently, Deadpool that's completely wrong, so yeah. See, so barely I mean, flashed red then. the premium version of the pea shooter have a weaker plant food? It's not fair. And it's really not okay. It's really not okay. It's really not okay. Unlucky 13, my. Alright, three things there. First of all, this spot on my head. I should have tried to cover that up. Second of all, that awkward circle transition. Third of all, let me Google this quick. <laughs> Apparently, the It's Not Fair thing was supposed to be a reference to the Lily Allen song, Not Fair. I guarantee absolutely nobody got that reference. So, let's move on. It's better than the iceberg Earth in many aspects. Better area and being able to freeze multiple zombies. I mean, I've done a whole video on this now, so you can watch that if you want. Iceberg. Iceberg. Be sweet and that's hard food. <laughs> I suppose let's freeze all zombies on screen. Save for the infants or citrons or whatever's better. Number seven is a magnifying So basically class. spoiling half my best plant foods list. Plant food already been reduced to ashes, which is annoying. I mean, that meme is pretty accurate, to be fair. Apparently, the duration corresponds with the number Also, what that weird sense sound sound used. It often glitches and just doesn't move on. Complicated piece of shit. the lead atrocity of the modern day world. I mean, I don't disagree with that. I still think this plant is pretty bad. Just small amount of damage to a zombie on its tile. Oh, yeah, and you can hear a piece siren then. I think I already said that in the comment as well. In the fifth place is the three pizza. I'm sure the snow is very honoured not to be around the worst piece to end boots with plant. Thanks, Aza. You're the best. Well, it packs a small punch straight ahead, but other than that, pretty weak. It's not like a guarantee is here on every zombie on screen. It's not bad plants to boots in the Zen Garden, but it's not a good plant. To spend plant food on. Yeah, well, I agree Number with that. Four, it's, it's good to boost, kill. but it's not good to like use it plant, plant food, food on. Anyway, plant poison guaranteed. <laughs> yep, and there it is again. The second worst plant food belongs to the Grim Rose. Basically, just as a normal attack, except to target the strongest zombie on the screen rather than the one in front of it. Boring, who gives a shit? Yep, Towns doesn't really need really anything more said one. about that. There's two things. They must realised this was terrible, so they tried to remedy it by adding an extra effect. A weak force field, but failed. Being a producing plant, it won't be quickly under attack anyway. Chance I'll be near the back of the lawn. I mean, Moonflower is quite good to use like in front of the lawn a bit more, but I do tend to still put some things well, at the back. Well, it's the exact opposite for the modern day. This is without doubt the biggest plant poison. And it was it again. And that's the list. What's the best Yeah, part? we don't need to do the outro. So that was that video. Honestly, I think that was probably worse than my first two. 
Yeah, a lot of cringy references there. So now let's go to what I think is probably the worst out of them. The best plant food one. You know, I was going to watch these on YouTube so I could read a few comments as well, but then I've got to deal with ads. Yep, oh, I'm having a problem with having ads on my own videos, which make me money. So yeah, I'm watching these on my computer. I think there might be a couple of things that I might have edited out of this. So first of all, just a quick overview of this video. I remember having like making a big deal out of this one. I think I filmed up with my tripod, had my brother act for cameraman, filmed in a different place in my room. I think it's to celebrate some sort of milestone with the worst plants one getting loads of views. I mean, all that works well, considering that I'm pretty sure this has the least out of all of them. And of course, we've got this intro song at the beginning. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but... So, I don't even know why I put this in. I think I just came up with it one day just because... So this song, right, one of the lyrics in it is, it comes in waves, and I thought, oh, sound like Plant vs. Zombies, Zombies, and then went too far and made a f***ing parody of it. One more burden on this ground. Oh, Scared Jesus Christ. Right, oh. skip, 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 where are we? Yeah, I was going to cut this intro out, because a lot of people, including myself, thought it was quite cringe. I think my brother liked it at the time or something, but whatever. To celebrate the fact that the top 10 worst plants and plants vs. Zombies 2 has hit a thousand Clearly views, the script there. becoming my most viewed top 10 list, I'll create a snazzy intro. Number 10 is the Winter Melon. Yeah, I think Melon Pole... I know I'm not really reacting to this video based on the rankings, more so the presentation and whatnot, but I probably could think of better ones than the Winter Melon. I know that Catapult's the young, MP's younger brother. Oh yeah, it's one of the old, all men I can't they all have these. And I guess he also has a sister called Melanie. Do you get it? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> laugh that pain away. Yeah, just gonna warn you, that's what most of this video consists of. Yeah, I'd say it's definitely the worst out of them. <laughs> Ban the comments with more. F care. Sh shut up. Number nine is the lining weed. The actual quality of this plant on its own does not fit in with <laughs> the spectacular plant food. It must be like playing a Lincoln Park song with your girlfriend. Yeah, let's f skip that reference ASAP. Seven is a pea pod. Feel free to point out the trend that Wild West are plants with great plant food abilities. I will yep. wait. If I had five jump peas and wild. I will wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was expecting that. I probably should have mentioned this being I've not actually seen this video in years. I know I saw the worst one a couple of years ago because I was putting caption on and stuff. I don't think I ever did that for this one, so yeah. Also, what is on the black one in the background? Oh, Cherry Bomb for life. <laughs> Six is the laser bean. Great plant equals great plant food this time. Should laser bean be in higher? Food basically equates the use Maybe. of a jalapeno. And I'll kill. say that just because I have pretty much main in. More damaging quick than the fume tunes as well, which admittedly it does face competition with. Uh, at some point in this out in the comment, yeah, I think fume tunes probably is probably better than laser beans, given that at least push them back, even if it does a bit less damage. It's like great for gargantuas especially. In the very own future to totally tw those zombies up. I've sworn a lot in this video, haven't I? Awesome. Yeah, let's stop there. We'll get demonetized. No, that's only the first 30 seconds still. Yeah, I don't really swear my Plant vs Zombies video anymore. Young audience and all that. Except the giant is not so giant compared to the giant piece on the peapod. But it still deals the same damage as video game logic. It's f***ing stupid. I mean, what I said it's was true, yes. It's very satisfying to see the all P finale is great to watch. <laughs> Turn the target makes the video somehow. Tell. Number four is my good pal, the <laughs> Bonk Choy. Yes, we're literally like this. this. When planted in the middle of a horde of zombies, it can function just like a cherry bomb when fed with plant food. That's not reason to level, like, rank it great way to take. Absolutely amazing. Oh, I love the bong choy. Forwards, backwards, up, down, diagonal right, diagonal left. Am I putting the right directions? I don't care. I'm, I'm looking at myself on the camera. Do I include that in my um, five years of YouTube video? I can't remember now. Green. Diagonal up, left, the diagonal down, left. As long nah, as that's that what the main, safe on the BC. The before Christ, bit crazy, Biffy Kylo, big. Oh, Biffy Kylo. Okay, how old is this video? I mean, don't get me wrong, I've kind of always liked Biffy Clover, but I've only really become a big fan of them in the past couple of years. I guarantee now I'm watching this is even going to know what I'm on about. I mean, I've got a post of them up here, so... But hey, at least that's one thing that's aged well in this video. Just I think I just made a penis to it then and then cut it off. While the giant orange thing is normally outdone by the coconut cannon, it beats it in one major category. Plant food. Can we just get to number one? 20 minutes later. Took a long time to get to number one there. IMO, the infinite. The only non offensive plant on the list. I chose this as my number one pick because the wallet that creates is amazing accurate. for save our seeds or trample flowers levels. Five times, five times, five times, five times, five times. So, Booker T reference there. Although, yeah, I think infinite was a good number one pick because it's quite a good cheese for save our seeds and. Trample flowers levels. That's kind of been redundant since the Primal Warner was introduced, though. I will say that. Let's see if I can make through the rest of this video. 
Right, so now we're on to what I think is my most disliked video. I know there's a couple that have a worse ratio, because I'm pretty sure this just about has more likes than dislikes, while others have more dislikes. But I'm pretty sure this one is one of the worst. What's well, that the actual list itself? Oh, it's even got the intro in, okay. I just realised how laggy it is as well. The frame rate is not very smooth at all. Thank god that's not a thing anymore. I have, to date, done four videos on Plants vs Zombies 2, the Time to one in the inaugural game of the franchise. This what? Was I meant to say inaugural? How the hell did I mispronounce that badly? This is the worst part of Plants vs Zombies 1. I should be careful because the success of Yeah, I'm pretty sure you had this gang before. Oh, my, why am I threatening? It's my opinion in the end. I am going into vlog spots and Could have picked a better picture the there, yes, again. And first of many is the Gloom Shroom. One of two upgrade plants on the list, but if an upgrade plant is bad, worth the original, you know something's up. Yeah, I will say oh, I'm still not a big fan of this plant, but I definitely don't think I should have made this list. I'm not sure what I would have put on and said, though, because there's only ten. Number nine is the puff shroom. Oh, here we go. This is the reason why the video got a lot of criticism, wasn't it? Because I put the puff shroom on. Just because I thought it was outclassed by a scaredy shroom. Because at least it's permanent for this game. I was completely oblivious to the fact that they put that in the sequel to nerf him because it's too powerful. Coin games can be useful, but having this as an actual plant in levels is... <laughs> Love how that picture there had the marigold, gloom shroom and gold magnet, all of which are on this list. They're running out of ideas, to be honest. <laughs> picture of the Watch Mojo presenters when I said running out of ideas. This has two functions in roof levels. I mean, it's useful for both, but require the clunky thing right at the back of your defences. they clutching straws in order to give a counter against certain zombies. Weird fade out then. Yeah, if you saw my roof list, I've said that I do like this plant a lot more now. Just because I think it's quite crucial for those levels with those zombies. Six is a cactus. Oh yeah, this one's weird. I probably should have put like a higher. Spike weed into one. In this one, it's just a pea shooter with one key difference. It can reach up and touch faith. <laughs> Why noise effect that's too loud and random Depeche Mode reference. <sighs> the balloon zombies. Yay. And it's hardly interchangeable the giant pea shooters. Hello, we've got warfare image of the pea shooter there. This video came out way before him started playing Gun Warfare, so that's another thing that's kind of, that's nice to look back on. The fact I was already aware of it. Blow away all balloon zombies on the screen and to clear away fog, but only temporarily. I, I seriously kept myself from moving the camera then. The level's given heavy improvement and versatility in the sequel, but there's a lot more zombies that can blow away due to it. And by heavy improvement and versatility, I mean it became busted. Four is the guy. Hold that image just say. This is better for this, as the lead system in this may be purely because there are more plants that are even worse in this game. Well, the plants are a lot of low quality images in this, but it's kind of hard to find some for plants in the first game, so I guess that's why. crappy plant with very limited use. You use a cough bean and plants on the day pool level with expending 75 extra sun. Nothing else needs to be said. Number two on this list is the Grave Buster. Got an indecent spot on the PVZ2 list of number indecent. 10. Indecent. Pretty sure this that's game. not how you meant to use Grave that word. They really should they take up plant ways, and then even then they're normally the front, so it shouldn't matter. Well, and ambush zombies as well, but but I don't really find that much initial, they're just cheese into these points. The Grave Buster is not even free in this game. It costs 75 goddamn sound to plant. That's issue the old 75 ah, inch twice. This tinkle into a grave you remove. Taking the crown of thorns as a gold magnet. Now, if you disagree with most people <laughs> on this list, I'm sure you can forgive me now. <laughs> when you laugh so hard, your headphones fall off. Coins in order to obtain it. For what? A plant I'm that, you and I am being well. serious here, a plant that collects coins for you. That is the entire function <laughs> of the plant. So it's far from an upgrade, it's a freaking degrade plant. Probably the worst plant in yep. the entire franchise. And those are my worst plants in the room. I mean, electro citron I've been G I've been GNVS. Did I seriously botch the saying of my own name then? What? Okay, that's that one then. So, yeah, that was an okay video, I guess. It's better than the previous one. So, I've been Golden Ninja Vlogspot. Thanks for watching. Thanks for having a laugh with me as I look back on my old videos. Bye.